Hi, Nadim here from Smart Writing Gadgets. I'm just about to do a software update on the Carpelli W702BS. Now, the version that I've got right now is version 3.0 that's going to be installed. That will then allow over-the-air updates to take place subsequent to that. So the first thing I need to do is get that downloaded and then get it onto the machine. Now, the way that I'm going to do that will require a couple of bits from me uh, to have before I can go ahead and do that. First thing is a 32 gig micro SD card and a very small screwdriver to open up the side door on the 702BS so I can get the micro SD card in and a computer. So first things first, let's go to the computer and get onto the micro SD card. So the first thing I'm going to do with this micro SD card is format it to MS-DOS. Now it's already formatted to MS-DOS but as a matter of course, I do it every single time just to erase anything that's on it so that there's no files on it and everything is as it should be. Now, on the Mac, it's pretty easy to do and same on, the win on a Windows computer. If you're not sure how to do it on a Windows computer, just look up in Google. It is fairly easy to do. So what I'm going to do is hit Erase and I'm going to change this over to MS-DOS FAT again so that it saves it as MS-DOS FAT formatted because that's what we need. I'd also advise do not use anything bigger than a 32 gig card for this or you will run into issues. And that's it done. So the card is now completely clean and it's FAT32 which is what we need it to be. I'm going to transfer this ISP boot.bin file, the one with three O's in it, into the SD card. That's added, so now that's ready to go into the W702BS. Okay, so I've got the update onto the micro SD card, so that's the, the, the boot file that you saw me putting on from my Mac. Now, as I said previously, and I'll say again, it must be on a 32 gig card. Okay, so I've got the micro SD with the boot file on it. I just need to get this compartment open so I can get the micro SD card in. That's where the little screwdriver is going to come in. So we just get this off. Be very careful with these screws. Do not lose them. And also be very aware of over tightening these. Because if you over tighten them, it's going to be really difficult to open them again. I learned that the first time around quite a while back. So what I'm going to do now is just insert it in halfway and not click into place because we're going to do that after um, we start the machine up because we need to boot the machine up before we push this all the way in. Right, so that's it in halfway. So what I'm going to do now is boot the unit up, get it ready to go. And we need to give it 10 seconds to pop and then put it on the, the, you know, the car home screen so that we can then insert the car fully in and then do the update. Okay, so let's find the car home. And so we're on this screen. So the, the dude unit has been on for more than 10 seconds now. So now I'm going to put the card in all the way. Right, so we're going to say, tick the yes. So we now just wait and let it update. So as soon as it's updated, we will switch the machine off, take the micro SD card out, and then boot the unit back up again. So they're saying new customer version is version 3.00. So right now I'm going to switch the unit off and take the micro SD out. So let's get the micro SD out. Right, so the you'll notice the splash screen is defaulted back to the standard one, so I'll need to change that again. Right, so that's the unit booted back up. Now you have to be aware Doing the software update has basically deleted all the settings, you know, your connections to your phone, any of the, you know, the, the stuff that you've loaded, like the, the icon screen, you know, like this one, that, that's disappeared as well, and the splash screen, so that all need to be redone again. Right, so anyway, the first thing we want to do is check that the software update went through okay. So software update here is showing a version 3.0, so we're now in the correct one. Now it's got the settings for Wi-Fi, etc. Right, next thing we need to do is connect our 
Wi-Fi, you know, actual home Wi-Fi with internet access. So we switch on network access. So we're in the MCU. Now I have to select one of my networks and then enter the password. Right, so now I'm connected to my... So I've selected the network, I've entered my password. So now all I need to do is press check for updates. Version 1.08 is the latest version. So the unit is now ready for any updates that come from Carpenter. So it's very, very simple. So the process is simple. Where the pain is going to be is you have to set up your phone again and all the other personalizations you've done is going to have to be redone. After this, it should be a lot easier. So I don't think it's going to require it after this because it's not going to be a full system rewrite. You know, going forward, it will just be updates added to the unit. So this is going to make it a lot easier going forward. So if you have any questions, just ask and I'll be happy to try and explain some of this to you. But I've done this in more or less real time and I had never done this before I actually did the video. So anyway, as I said, any questions, just let me know. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and like the video. It kind of helps me to get more videos like this made. Thanks.